Hey everyone, this video is on how to build and use the cardboard centrifuge supplied by Tiny Science Lab. So, what are you going to need? Well, you will obviously need the cardboard centrifuge kit that we um, supply. And it comes with uh, the cardboard round thing with all the necessary holes laser cut in it. And it comes with two little um, ampule plastic uh, little bottles, which are little, oh, I don't know, containers, uh, which are actually really good. The lids are really good, and I believe, I believe they hold two mil, and they're actually like calibrated. So yeah, these are actually really good. Uh, a short piece of silicon tube, uh, one meter length of string, and two, um, what are these called? Little wiry ties, tie wires, that's it. <laughs> so um, what you will need to supply is two pens, doesn't, don't need to be Sharpies, they can be ballpoint pens, they could be pencils, whatever, two pencils. And the tools that you are going to need are a pair of scissors, that's it. But I do recommend that you have safety glasses on when you use this thing and that um, maybe maybe you do it where there's not like people around because this thing goes fast okay so all right so when it comes um we're going to do the trickiest bit first and that is that to make this last a lot longer um what we need to do is actually put a piece of rubber tube a little pieces of rubber tube through these big holes because that's where the string's going to go and without the rubber tube, the string will bite into the cardboard and it, this won't last very long. But with, the, with these rubber tubes in, they are going to last a long time. So let's make this thing last a long time. So you have to take your tube and you've got to squeeze the end a bit and you've got to like squeeze it in. It's a, it's a pretty tight fit, okay? It's a pretty tight fit. But you know, if I can do it, you can probably do it as well, okay? Um, so, not, not, <laughs> maybe I should have said here's one I prepared earlier. No, no, I will be able to do it, okay? I will be able to do it. I mean, I could have made the hole bigger, right? But then, then it's not a tight fit, is it? So, you know, it's, it's supposed to be challenging to do, and I will get it. Um, sort of like pushing and using my nail and that sort of stuff. And has it poked through yet? Not yet. A little bit. Ah, there it comes. Okay. Oh, I see it. And I'm going to grab the other end. Yay, I've done the first one. Now, you don't need it protruding very far. You know, like just a millimeter or two. And then with your scissors, cut it as close as you can. Cut it as close as you can to the cardboard. So that, see that? You've got a little bit protruding on the top, a little bit protruding on the bottom. And then you've got the joy of doing the second one. <laughs> so squeeze him in. And I can tell you, if you don't do this, you know, this, this cardboard centrifuge will not last long at all. Like it might even, it might not even work. I'm not too sure. I haven't tried it without, I did try it without the rubber hoses with smaller holes, but I haven't tried it without the rubber hoses with the big hose. Okay. All right, I've got those two in there. That didn't take very long. Okay, you don't need a university degree to achieve that. Then get your string and just make sure it, you know, doesn't have any knots. Poke the string through uh, one of the tubes and pull it through about halfway. And then poke it through the other one, back again. There you go. That's actually not too bad. And then, you need to tie it off. Now, I'm sure there's some fancy knots out there, but I'm going to do the classic triple granny knot. <laughs> okay, what's the triple classic granny knot? That's basically just where you go knot, 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 knot. However, you you know, you do a couple of knots and you, you pull the two ends and hopefully it doesn't pull apart. You know, that's the classic granny knot. I'm sure sailors, would have something much, much, much better than that. And I'm sure if you go looking on the internet, you'll find much, much better knots than this. 
but I'm just doing a triple granny knot and look at that that's perfect all right so this is almost ready to spin up so I can now put my um, ties through okay so I'm gonna put the first you know these are the little holes here for the the wire ties poke the end through one hole and then poke the other end through that hole yeah and what I'm going to do for you so that this is really clear, I'm actually going to put an ample on straight away. Now, I could put the empty one on, but I'm actually going to put one that's got some muddy water in there because that's what I'm going to centrifuge. So have a look at that. There's some muddy water, okay? Just a little bit of clay with a little bit of water. And you put the pointy, pointy part outward Okay, the pointy part goes outward. And the wider, or the opening end of the, well, the opening end uh, is designed to go down. So, like so. And then, the wire tie, you twist the wire tie at the end. Whoop. There we go. And if this smells a bit burny, that's because that's how it's been made. It's been made with a laser cutter, which burns it. So that's exciting, isn't it? All right, now that is that is locked into position. Oh yeah, so very good. And didn't need sticky tape. Or, mm, could be a bit better. I'm gonna sort of, there we go. I've twisted it up well now. It, oh, I can't see that coming off in a hurry. Perfect, yes. All right, now I'm going to get my second uh, little ampule. Now here's, I think it's important, I haven't actually tested it, but to keep this thing balanced, I think the weight has to go on the other side. So you have one on one side and one on the other side. I think, I haven't tested it. Um, you'd think when you're releasing such a magnificent product as this that you'd be doing extensive uh, testing, that's what you might think. <laughs> but I, I sort of like to have the, uh, you know, a little bit of the unknown happening. And you could actually do an experiment to see whether indeed you need to put um, the ampules on either side or whether, it, maybe it doesn't matter, okay? Maybe it doesn't matter. And you've, you've probably already finished building yours and are using it the speed at which I'm doing mine. Um, that's right. I'm, I'm purposely making it look difficult to do because so that when you do it, you'll feel like a genius. Yeah, you'll think, oh, I'm skilled. Um, <laughs> you can see straight through me, I know that. Okay, uh, that's on. Now, even that up and... Twist that on. There you go. Now you know how they do all those toys uh, that you get. And this is, I think this is ready to go. I've got my dirty water. I've got my string. Okay, I'm going to put my safety glasses on because this thing does spin quite fast. And I'm going to put one pen just through the loop there. One pen through the loop here. And it sort of needs to be even. Now, how do you get it going? You have to sort of wind it up first. So I'm going to wind it. I'm going to wind it up like this. Going to wind it up. Wind, and then I pull, and then I let it go, and I let the momentum wind it up the other way. And then I pull, and I let release, and let it wind up the other way. And then I pull, and then I release, and let it wind up. So each time it's sort of winding up a little bit more the other way. Look at that. Newton's first law. Once an object's in motion, it will continue in motion unless stopped by an external force, which is the string. And... Oh, I reckon this thing's going quite fast. I'm impressed. It's a lot of fun. Make sure there's no one around, just in case those ampules do fly off. Um, this is called circular motion. Circular motion. And, yo, I guess it 
it speeds up the gravitational separation of a liquid mixture. Uh, does it have to be clay water? Well, maybe you could try full cream milk. Um, maybe you could try blood if you get some, but don't, don't come. I'm not telling you to use blood here, okay? I'm just saying what you could possibly do. All right, but definitely clay water will do the trick. And let's have a little look. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Look at that. So you can clearly see that this centrifuge is an absolute winner. All right, well, thank you for joining me on this how to build the Tiny Science Lab cardboard centrifuge. And I'm sure I'll, well, <laughs> this video, I don't know whether, I, whether you'll wanna see me again, but anyway, I'm hoping that I'll see you again in the future. Bye for now.